Hey everybody, this is DJ Sexy Fahey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to start any stream. This is Mike Fahey with Kotaku, and I am playing Steep on PC. I am joined in the studio here in New York, where we are visiting for the holiday party, by the guy who just, well, you just turned down my sound. I didn't, did I turn down your sound? Yeah. What did you do? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to turn down your sound. You turned down my sound. Well, Chris Person is in here turning down everybody's sound like some yeah, kind of madman. Yeah, he's just kind of messing with all of it. He's yeah. running around cackling. But also, Nathan Grayson is here to watch and observe. And should the gameplay start going bad, he'll have taken over the, the controller. Yeah, yeah, if it's sure. bad, Nathan did it. Yeah. I will fall on that sword for you, Faye. So we're at the beginning of Steep right now. Um, this is the PC version. I've been playing on the Xbox One version, so I have my account up to level 19 on the, on the Xbox One version. We're just starting out. It says first ride together. Which, yeah, very well, romantic. It's very rom romantic. What they want me to do here is scout down to this area. Like This is a new starting point. I'm outstanding in the snow. First off, let's change this character to someone else because I don't like that guy. Oh, those are game settings. Oh. I guess I'm just not used to seeing these. How do I get to the... No, I don't want to open the yeah, game bar. Yeah. Listen, it just doesn't let me open the menu in the tutorial. <laughs> why Why did he just make that noise? <laughs> he, he found out I couldn't open it in the tutorial. Oh, he's just laughing at you? He is. He's got problems. Now I understand why you don't like him. Anyway, the idea is we can, we can go ahead and snowboard down to that little orange marker there, or we can really do whatever we want. I could, if I want... Well, I can't paraglide yet. No, I could <laughs> do exactly what I just said I was doing. But I could wingsuit and watch this action. Hot wingsuit action! <laughs> <laughs> you want to always be sure you're in the right place for wingsuiting. I, I think the problem is maybe you're a better sexy DJ than you are snowboarder, sexy DJ flyer. Fee. No, I, I just, we're getting started. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is actually Steep, the sequel to popular game Quop. Quop. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't there a platform you can just like walk over to? Uh, no, that was in the other area. Oh. And that wasn't where yet. We're gonna ski down there. Now the fun thing about skiing is like snowboarding is one plank, as as the snowboarding journal will tell you. Nice. Skiing, on the other hand, is two planks. But the thing they don't tell you in snowboarding skiing different school is that you can ski backwards, but you can't technically snowboard backwards. So. Now it's not going to do it for me, but I always end up skiing backwards when I try to do a jump. Let's get there and see if I can do it here. I mean, it's pretty cool. It kind of projects your, like, devil may care attitude. There we go. Yeah, so now I'm skiing backwards. This inevitably happens. Look at that, though. Great, yeah. Right? Let's go see if I can jump backwards. Nope. Are you grinding now? Is being on a rock while you're skiing considered grinding? It's considered bad, a bad idea. <laughs> look, look, I'm going forward now. So we want to go to base camp again. Um, oh, so you can just like warp back up to your kind of starting point yeah, whenever you want? Yeah, whenever so that's you really want. Neat. <clears throat> you can, uh, thank you for clearing your throat in the stream, Fahey. Sorry. Did you just apologize for me clearing my throat? I could. Keep going. Whatever. You One of cleared the things my throat? Wait. Chris, Chris Parson <laughs> just cleared my throat live on stream. <laughs> One of the things that we don't tell you on Kotaku.com is that we're all like one kind of hive body mm -hmm. and it's really uncomfortable. It's a and disgusting Cronenbergian mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just not a good time for any of if, us. If you've ever watched pigeons interact together, it's kind of like that. How is it like that? It's like that when one of us goes out to get lunch and then comes back and vomits it in our mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the steep stream. <laughs> this is DJ Disgusting Fahey. Wingsuit. So Wingsuit. what Wingsuit. what they're showing you here in this part here is that you can there are multiple uh, ways to, to to descend the mountains from starting points. It's like right now we're gonna go switch to we're gonna switch to wingsuit. Watch this. Can I do it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna. Get this is gonna be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, let's let's try. Snowboarding. What I really like is the way that he like majestically ascends before immediately <laughs> falling on his face. The music that's playing right now is funky, but I think we might... There are some... There is an option in the game to turn off licensed tracks so you don't get sued by everybody. That's... Yeah. yeah. I think that's increasingly a thing, though, in a lot of modern games. It is, like, you yeah. kind of have to. Turn on jingle pumps. No, I can go back to the, to the base camp here and start over again. From walking to a ride, 
that's saved. So you can hit Y at any time to restart. Like if we wanted to re recreate that wingsuit moment. <laughs> <laughs> Experience the memory, just like again, the first, the first time. <laughs> I just <laughs> didn't even move that time. Well, <laughs> here we go. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I, oh my oh god, wow. we're actually going to do a fly. We're not just going to hit the ground repeatedly. See, I told you. Now, okay, my question is, why would you do the other things in this game? Like, wingsuiting seems just objectively cooler. Once you, you once them, we get to a mountain and, and unlock the mountains, let me see if it'll just let me. You are and moving between the different sports, just because we have mountains all over the place here, let me see if I can find a, a good one. I should have a plane, a helicopter ticket. If they won't let me do it yet until I'm out of the tutorial. Let's just finish this real quick. This is the best use I've seen of the menu system from Skyrim. It kind of makes me feel of I feel like um, what's the other game? That Far Cry game, the Far Cry. Primal. Sure. <laughs> One of them. Dragon? Dragonborn! Da, 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 da. Okay. So what am I supposed to do? Reach and stop in the scouting something point. We are really informing you people today. Oh yeah, just really going for it. But no, okay, what if like there was a game like this, like skiing and snowboarding and stuff, except through a fantasy world, like Skyrim. Like, and so that would be a ruin right there, and you could just enter it and like fight some goblins, and then get back to skiing and snowboarding at you just your leisure. You want to add goblins to everything. Yes. No, and I see what you're saying though. And I'm I a big like, fan of Alex Jones. I mean, because this could easily be a Skyrim mountain. Imagine going in the Skyrim, and then when you get out of your dungeon or kill a dragon, you unlock the voice of snowboarding power. <laughs> <laughs> where you shout and suddenly you're on a snowboard. Like Vin Diesel in that one movie. Fusra dude. And then you're on a snowboard. Fusra dude. Write that down. No? Fus, fus, okay, I'm writing Fusra dude down. Fusra dude. <laughs> okay, let's snowboard. Let's, let's wingsuit it again. Please. <sighs> Do it! Oh. I had the ankle wrong. Shush. I've that hard since I first started out at this. Okay, I yeah. thought he was going to say something more clever. No, he wasn't. They don't. You know, it's really sad. If you go to the, the female character, the first female character in the game, just she basically cries and screams for help all the time. It's really kind of disturbing. Okay, here we go. It's all right. It's all right. We can do it again. To be fair, this is pretty uh, <laughs> reminiscent of my own experience um, with trying to ski and snowboard. This is kind of like learning any snowboarding. I'm having so much fun. Yeah. I'm, Guys, I'm really, I'm doing this on purpose. <laughs> this makes me, uh, do they have, like, tutorial videos of people learning how to wingsuit? Because now I just want to watch that. Right, like in real life. Oh my god, just... can you imagine that? Yeah. I can imagine that, because I am living it right now. But no, I remember the last time that I tried to ski and snowboard, I couldn't even figure out how to stop properly, so I was just like, I'll just fall down any time that I want to stop moving. And it actually worked pretty well. So, I mean, there's some pro tips. Just really in anything in life where you want to stop, just fall down. Missed it. I did not. Watch. I can walk. <laughs> you know, like they do Extreme in the Olympics. Extreme winter like, sports. Shut yeah. up. Extreme winter sports walking. And your big poofy wingsuit pants. I'm like, I, I live again like a walking phoenix. You're you like get that? I was a, a walking... Walking phoenix. It was a pun for walking phoenix. Mm. Oh, I get it. Now. Did, did it tell okay. you? I'm almost right. certain it's around these what? parts. No, it's telling me to use the binoculars to find a new starting point. Yeah, it's the orange one. Where is it? The left. Which left? Up. Oh. There we go. Nice. Looks like an ideal drop zone. Dexterity trip challenge so unlocked. And you can you should be able to just hit the button and then you're there. That's the coolest thing about this is you can just warp all over this damn mountain by the time you unlock everything. If anyone has any questions in the chat, let us know. Oh, sorry. Someone, someone asked if the game is worth getting. It's definitely worth getting. I, I, I've, been, I've played maybe 20 hours since getting it, and I've been in New York for several days away from my system, so... Oh, that jump sucked. So you think even at, like, full price, worth getting right now? I, I, it, I mean, I guess it depends on your enjoyment of just wandering around. I, I mean, I'm doing, going through the motions here of the, the starting area, but really the joy of it is just fighting on top of a mountain and standing there and going, which way am I going to go now? And how am I going to go there? It, it's 
the really beautiful moment is standing on top of a mountain in, in this game and just looking down and going, I can go anywhere here until I hit the level limit. And then <laughs> I, I mean, that was like the appeal of like, for, like Forza Horizon. Yeah, it well, just it's, like, it's yeah. a lot like that feeling, yeah. It's just like, where do I, I don't, like, I don't even feel like playing, I just want to drive around and I don't care about races or anything. Exactly. That is, I, 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 I've been making that comparison and I wasn't sure if it was, I was like, should I make that or is that too much me? And apparently it's too much me and you. I mean, is the maybe more yet. direct comparison in this case because of Ubisoft, like the crew? So like ski. No one the plays the crew. Yeah, Forza Horizon's better a better game. What the hell are you yeah. talking? I keep trying to jump, but this is not the course for jumping. We'll, we'll find the course for jumping in a second. This is this is all about speed, the need for it. And the speed, and this is this is not too fast a course. When you get up on the mountains where you're supposed to be they really want you to, to uh, wingsuit down, mm -hmm. and you attempt to do it with the snowboard, you will go ridiculously fast. We're almost there. Oh, we've lost the gold medal. Well, yeah, but I mean, silver medal's nice. It's good to have low expectations of one's own abilities. Someone said, so this is like a snowboard RPG. Almost, sort of. I mean, the thing is with an RPG, as you level up, you progress through stuff. Uh, well, let me go back to my to the menu now. It will not. Well, eye tracking. That's an interesting option. Okay, what if, like, to, to take the RPG idea even further, what if they had, like, a nemesis system, like in Shadow of Mordor in this? Say, like, I nemesis they had eye tracking. I don't yeah. know what that does. Well, it, it, it tracks your eyes. I mean, I get that, but I don't know what it does practically. Well, if your eyes leave while you're playing, they will hunt them down. <laughs> oh, okay. It's kind of like, where's my iPhone? The most dangerous just, eyes, okay. Where's my mm -hmm. eye? phone. Okay, where's my objective now? I'm sorry, everyone on the stream. Have I told you guys on the stream how much I love you? I really do. Just you guys coming in and watching when you have nothing else to do, and you're like, I'll stop and watch this nonsense for a second. And that makes me happy. It makes it makes Nathan happy, too. Yeah, sure. That was not very heartfelt. <laughs> okay, so here we are. This is the proximity flying. Now, as I mentioned, we had a VG chat the other day with Steven, and I mentioned the wingsuit's a little unforgiving. And I must get closer to the microphone because they're moving my mic. I mean, to be fair, I would expect a wingsuit to be kind of unforgiving insofar as no, this is people easy. are generally bad at flying. The That's not one of our main skills. The guys filming one of the Transformers movies did this. I mean, obviously not that hard. Wait, did a Transformer do it? Because that's not a person. That's a Transformer. No, no, it was uh, Josh Duhamel, I think. So, still not a person. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, Josh Duhamel is a very nice person. He's very cool. And and if I were into guys, I would make out with him. So, oh. yeah. Think. But do you make out with him while wingsuiting? Because if that has not been done in, like, an extreme something movie, then... If Transformers mm -hmm. were attacking, I think. Right, like it's your last kiss. Oh, yeah. See? I can wingsuit. I hear people are talking about that one already. Um, okay, so now we have the next. What, what, what do you want? Is there oh, someone asked, is it like wingsuiting in other games? All the wingsuiting. What other games can you wingsuit in? I know there's. Um, yeah, it's a good point. Just Cause? Yeah. yeah Far Cry? Maybe? Not Far Cry. I mean, in, in Just Cause 3, it's pretty like forgiving. It's fairly easy to wingsuit. You just kind of like parachute off something and then immediately start flying and it's not too difficult to control. I mean, this isn't too bad. Um, where am I supposed to go? Hold B to go to Mountain View, select the Tete du Dune. That's French for Head of Dune, by the way. Yet? Use your binoculars to look for it. They're perfect for spotting new lines, so be sure to use them out here. I, I could have swore we already did this. Yeah, a little bit. A couple people in the chat are asking about SSX, because I think that's a lot of people's last big snowboard game. SSX was a little, I mean, I, I played SSX. I played um, 1080 snowboarding. I played all the cold borders. I love cold borders so, so much. And they were more, I mean, the sense of speed here is the same. The tricks are not outrageous at all. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very, there's a lot of realism injected into this one. Even though there's a course where you have to, you know, snowboard through ice rapids, um, but it's very it, it takes itself seriously. Um, it, it worries about things like when you're going down a mountain. Let me go to the thing and actually do something here. Like when you're going down a mountain on your snowboard and you run over rock, it starts you know. Oh, it's just trying to make me do this. Yeah, here we Wait, go. Wait, are you rock climbing? No. 
This is the most boring sport in Steam. It's not exciting at all. Okay, everyone, Here we get, go. get ready. Get on the edge oh, of your seats. Oh, God. <laughs> I already fell. I don't know. I thought that was pretty mm-hmm. exciting. Um, someone in the chat brought up the very unfortunate accident that happened while playing this game. Mm-hmm. Or oh, while making this oh, game. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that, way to bring the chat down. Um, I'm sorry. No, there was an unfortunate accident. The, uh, the uh, extreme sports person from, uh, was she from Sweden? Yeah, it was um, Matilda Rappaport. Uh, yeah, and that's kind of when I play this game, it's like it, it, it's a little odd thinking about that because what the hell is going on? Am I not at the mark? Sorry. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, not supposed to happen at all. Well, I mean, I think the goal of Steep is to ultimately become one with the mountain. You are really now know one with better. the mountain. Yeah, I am definitely one yeah. with the mountain. So, Faye just beat the game. Here we are. That's it. Here we are. This is where we're supposed to start. Um, yeah, thinking about that's really it, it's sobering. It's certainly. I mean, there's a big warning at the beginning of this game saying, don't try this. Never ski. Never never do any of this. It's bad. And I agree. I mean, I tried skiing when I was a kid, and I I think I beat myself. I mean, skiing, like all of these sports, snowboarding and skiing, are just objectively very dangerous. It's very easy to break bone or mm-hmm. your neck. Or Bono. You could break Bono. Sunny Bono? I mean, that's... Oh, well, oh wait, Bono. I thought you were talking about the, the yeah. singer Bono. No, if it was no, regular Bono, Bono, I wouldn't have much of a problem yeah, with Sonny Bono. Sonny Bono did die. Yeah, 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 yeah. so it's a little bit more difficult. Um, I mean, that's the same thing with anything, though. I mean, if you're playing a racing game, you know, we can certainly play a racing game and grind up against the wall as brakes instead of actually using the brakes, but you know, people die doing that all the time. But I think it is a little bit more, it is a little bit different when a death has been directly associated with, like, with the, the making yeah. of the game. Yeah. Like, it's hard not to, if you know about it, to think about it. It's but like, I'm, I'm not going to blame an avalanche on somebody who makes a game, though. It's, no, it's no, tragic. It's a tragedy. But if anything, I think they, like, you know, push forward and, you know, made the damn game. And, right. Because you know, they did it because people loved it. And you know, that happens in any sport. Mm-hmm. That rap of yours is already starting to grow. Let's, see, let's go to the jump, the bargain. This is my favorite little part at the beginning. Between ground and air sports. And we'll see if this particular controller... I'm going to hand the controller now to Nathan. Oh, no. But not really. Okay, good. So just, it, it looks like Nathan, but it's not really Nathan. Oh, okay, so if okay. I fail... Here I go. Definitely controlling this game. You're doing really well. With both of my hands, really which well. is what I would use Nathan. in any situation to control a game. I mean, mostly. See, now, I... I, mm. uh, I really messed that up. I'm so sorry. It's a new controller in my hand. It's these damn clumsy hand. hands of mine that are, for some reason, the size of Faye's hands <laughs> on my significantly smaller body. That's I don't know why I'm having image. issues jumping. Or why Nathan's having so much trouble jumping. I just, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really nervous right now. It's my first time, what you is, know. It's, it doesn't seem to be registering my jump. There, oh, there we, we go. go. I take credit for that. Did I get a silver medal or a bronze medal? Or did Nathan get a silver medal or a bronze medal? Yeah, sure. Whatever medal they will give me, is I there, will accept. Is there a delay in the system here when I stream from this system? No, it shouldn't be. Or when Nathan streams from this system? Yeah, no. There we go. No, we have to, we have to uh, display out, so that should be a direct feed. Huh. Because I'm not getting any lift there. And I should be. There you go. Sort of. Oh. By oh, the way, there's a first, first person. person mode? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that is oh, so God, neat. I can't see anything. Albeit kind of nausea-inducing. Very nausea-inducing. Really neat. You, you should try doing that. Well, we can try doing that. We have a stream. Why am I not getting any score, though? <clears throat> I'm so, really good at this at home on my Xbox One. So, wait. Is there any sort of, like... like I'm not do they have a VR that. mode in this or anything? Or is that just, like, a first-person control regularly thing? There we go. There's that. Um, Kevin added, the government is lying. Wait, about which thing? Oh, I don't know, just in general. I'll just oh. take the bronze yeah, and okay. try to figure this out. What is going on? No lift. But yeah, this is always one of those things where I look at a first-person mode in a game like this, and I'm like, I kind of want to try that in VR, but then I think about <laughs> how that would actually go for me, and I'm like, maybe I don't, because I don't want to like throw up all over my living room. Here we go. First person. Uh, yeah, no, I can barely deal with that. In well, okay, let's 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 stop. Let's stop and change our sports to 
Wingsuit. <laughs> We're gonna do a first person crater into the ground. <laughs> oh, I almost made it. Anyone, any questions from Facebook right now? Like, why do you keep doing wingsuit and falling to your death? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a. What what was the game where you could just like ragdoll whenever you wanted to? Oh yeah, that that one mode in a Saints Row, <laughs> where you're like collecting, it, where you're doing insurance fraud, and you can literally just run into traffic and immediately ragdoll, and you get knocked into the air and start like cartwheeling through the sky and bouncing off cars. I think it is it, one of the best parts of that series. I think what's important here is my little feet. Your little feet. <laughs> Look at them. I have little feet. Hey, Mike. Nice feet. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. They're I'm good very... feet. But you can, again, paragliding is boring. Like there was someone on Reddit uh, earlier the other day, maybe that said I I paraglided for 92 minutes. I'm like, how did you stay awake for 92 minutes? It's like a desert bus challenge. It <laughs> is. It really is. Oh, here we go. That guy is really enthusiastic. Let's see if I can I change my characters yet, or is it is this controller? Maybe it's the controller. It's not the controller. But I mean, I should be able to get to the menu. This is funny to me, and that usually when someone is playing a game and they're blaming the controller, it's like because they're not playing well, and for you, it's like because I can't get the character select. Yeah, I'm really. Like, <laughs> I'm still. I guess I'm still in first ride together, so maybe I can't yet. But it's still unnerving and weird. Yeah, this guy's fine. He, he's growing on me with his blue jacket and weird pants. Is that that puffy ass jacket? Okay. But I mean, I bet it keeps him really warm. Having been in New York all week, I envy his jacket. Shut up. You're just trying to get me to mention that I don't have a jacket and I'm in New York City and I forgot it. And I succeeded in getting but, you to mention that. But I have that. four hats. Yep. And I still think that you should just put all of them under your shirt to keep you warm. It's insulation. This is really troubling me with the jumping thing. I mean, maybe this guy can't jump. Maybe it's just his thing. But there shouldn't be any differences because these are all no name. Yeah, but also that's like a setup for a really inspiring story. Like a man who couldn't jump decided to get into snowboarding uh, yeah. and became like one of the best in the world despite the fact that he could never actually leave the ground. And that man's name is Bernard Sanders. Beautiful. Uh, well, I've got, I'm not supposed to get the silver medal, am I? Because I'm not getting it. This is really weird. I mean, you still got a medal. That's good. See, I, so I've unlocked a new jacket sticker there. Let me let me do one thing real quick. Let me look at controls and see if there's a different setup maybe that I'm using for gamepad. RB. Okay, so stair view, ski snowboard. Jump. It's Do you think it's different on the Xbox? It should be the same thing. I don't know why. Could be the controller. I mean, this is an Xbox 360 controller. I use an Xbox One. I don't know if that'd make a difference. But... Anyway, this makes for a great stream. Yeah, I, I was gonna say this. The story of this game is less about like some up and coming snowboarder and more like Fahey's struggle against the menu. Oh, do I need this? Wait, am I doing the imitational again? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm honestly enjoying you uh, falling down and then occasionally snowboarding. Yeah. I See? mean, that's what this game is about, right? <laughs> See, jump only works when it, when, it, when it knows I'm going to die. It's like, he's going to make a really cool jump. No, no, kill him. Like, if this game was not about falling down, it wouldn't be called steep. It would be called gentle incline. Well, you know what they say about falling down the world? No, I don't know that no, song. No, keep going. No, keep I don't going. know the song. Me neither. I'm I curious to see how you'll finish it. <laughs> Hit by a thing, <laughs> and what the hell was that? Oh now my I'm god. The table I can't get out of. The We're bane of the every line. snowboarder's existence. <laughs> Big <tables>. a table. <laughs> and it's weird because bears in parks love them. And those are very similar to snowboarders. Exactly, the same thing. Like the objective is score the most. Ugh. 
There you go. You got this now. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was. And that should give me... Is that enough to get me silver? Not yet. Avoid Some the table. Some very breathy snowboarding. Push it. What just happened? Oh, no, I've got, I've got, I've got gold. We got it. There we go. No, you, you got silver somehow. That's why we have silver. I'm oh, okay. It, 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 it was showing me gold. Okay. Oh, it wants to. Sh oh, here we go. Why didn't anyone chat tell me it would just want me to do this? Well, someone did. I just. Was you didn't tell me. No. Well, they said it very rudely, and I didn't want to re repeat it. If we're doing badly, they can be rude. It's okay, everybody. No, it's fine. We appreciate your rudeness. Because we love you unconditionally. And by we, Fahey means him speaking about himself, but for some reason in the third person. Yeah, he said, turn around and go uphill, losers, I think is what he said. Nice. Man, I'm going to feel that burn for a yeah. long time. It's okay. Don't. Oh, Nathan's crying. You made Nathan cry. You bastards. He's, oh, Nathan. Nathan and I'm wiping my tears with my giant Fahey hands. Oh, it's yeah. very it's uncomfortable really, for me. He had the paws. Thing to show you. Okay, one last thing to show me, and then you hear a zipper noise. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how the world snowboarding <laughs> works. Wow. <laughs> now we have to go to Mount de la Plop Plop. Um, Matt, <laughs> 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 Okay, so this, this they're going to show me the one last thing, and then I'll have a little free time. I don't know how much time we have left in the stream, but... um. At the end of it, can we go to the very top of the mountain and, like, just leap off of it? <laughs> nice. There you go. And then you were, like, rejected by the tree that you tried to graft your body onto. There was Somebody sent a clipping yesterday from Steep where they got stuck inside the mountain, and it, like, it was just, like, five seconds of nothing, and then they explode out of the mountain and do, like, a fucking 360, and it was the funniest thing I've seen all day. Well, so yeah, and also, saying. like, the sickest trick in the history of mountain sports. Yeah, it's super sick. So what you're saying is they were rolling like an avalanche coming down the mountain. Yeah. You did exactly what I told you to and make that line your own. I don't mind the sun sometimes. Do you not know that song? None of you know that song? No. No. Jeez, really? Pepper? Butthole surfers? No? I mean, I've heard of them, but... Oh, my God. Kids these days with your lack of butthole surfers. <laughs> The the lack of were in the, they, they did the Beavis and Butthead movie, right? Oh my god. Is that really your... You're, you're gonna go there? Yeah, it's a great, it's a great video. It's a great part of it. Okay, so now I, I, I can create okay. a challenge. That whole thing I just went through, I can hit highlight that, go to action list, uh, choose a tactical race. And now, a cinematic moment from Steep. Ubisoft presents. Ubisoft Annecy, if that's how you pronounce it. It's mm. probably something French. Like how all the Ubisoft people say. Mm, see? Game dev developers. <laughs> From the game developers at Ubisoft Annecy. <laughs> what? Yves. Yves, Yves would say Yves, that, right? Yves, yeah. Yves says game developers. And that's okay, because he's a sexy, sexy man. Take risks. Skipping. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So now I should be able to get to my, 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 really, is there no way to get to this? It. Okay. Let's look at the, look at the, we're going to look why, at the Why, why is go. this here hill to die on there, when there's it, so many nice hills to no, die on in started. this game? It just started. It finally did it. Okay. Okay. So what was happening is LTRT down at the bottom. See? It finally opened up all this stuff for me. So. Riders, let's go and get a better. That Sam Berger is a chump. Um, we want Kelly Walsh because she's awesome. Are these real people? No. Okay. You can also get the bunny suit, but you need a lot of coins for that. There's a giraffe. There is a cow. There's you a cow. You should be that cow. There is a bunny. There is a Wait, black bunny. Wait, you can fur suit? Oh my god. You, you can. They finally made a snowboarding game for furries. Now, technically, a first suit would have a fully enclosed face. These are just fuzzy pajamas. No, the bu the definitely. panda one definitely has a fully enclosed face. Oh, oh the panda, yeah, no, that's a furry. That's a first suit. That's a first suit. suit. Yeah. yeah, I think the cow one does, too. Yeah, the cow one actually has a fully uh, – no, it doesn't have a fully enclosed face, but it does have – Realistically modeled udders. udders. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much <laughs> Terrifying, okay. As well. Are these more? Okay. So anyway, now that I'm here, I have helicopter tickets, so I can go anywhere on this mountain. You unlock specific challenges as you level up. 
But if you want to just go to the top of a stupid mountain. And then we're going to jump off of it, right? We're going to do all kinds of things off of it. Okay, well, I might not want to stick around for some you of that. don't even know. But I do want to see the jump. Now, you can zoom right into the mountains. This is the mountain. So let's go over here. And can I use a helicopter ticket here? Yes. Boom. This looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's, I'm on board. Here we go. So this is where you get the really get the sense of speed going. Because yeah, we're dang. basically going straight down. Oh. Oh. Oof. Ow. Uh, yeah. Oof. Oof. That's all. Of, that was the sound of all of her bones. That's all the thing. That's this is what my kids watch when I play the game with them. They're mm -hmm. like fall. I'm like, but I want to. They're like, no fall, Faza. I don't I mean, know why they call me Faza. I, I think this is a dangerous lesson to be teaching your kids, at least in regards to the way that human physiology works. There's a sign letting you know that this is not a, a gentle slope. See, it is steep. Oh, goodness. That's right. Fix your wounded bones Yo. by doing a oh. sweet <laughs> trick. Oh, yes. That is the joy. And now I can just hit Y, and I'm right back at the top again. Uh, and she's like, please, no. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> Let's just go over to this peak. Now I'm suddenly the devopler. Wait, who's Burn Fist 3? Burn Fist 3? That's my mama. <laughs> there were two other Burn Fists. Um, <laughs> Gabriel says, uh, have you ever read or snow snowboarded down before, just straight down? Wow, I sure didn't see that coming. Shush. We'll do it. I didn't pull up enough. See? Nice. Okay. Oh, sponsored by GoPro. Yes, GoPro and, and, and Red Bull are very prominent sponsors of Steep, the video game. I hope GoPro's doing well. <laughs> yeah, well, what are they gonna do? Now, eventually, you'll unlock hot air balloons, and you can dive from the hot air balloons in the wingsuits. And basically, the best thing to do for that is this: just there we go. That's right. One, one, one. Oh, oh, Jesus oh, Christ. No. 451 G-Force. That's not a KO. A KO implies that there's still consciousness to be Why regained. Is there a, what, there, was there, well, was that what, like, hold on, no, no, no. Was that like a, a, a groundhog with a... Groundhog a beaver with a party hat, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> now, the thing is, when you KO, you have to immediately start back up where you were. Right. Well, because KOs, they're standing for you died. Yeah, you're not getting back up after this. Oh, but you see that? Leaving the trails in the feet? Uh, now, the, I, there's ice down here. There's all kinds of rocks. See, the thing is, once you start crashing, it's really hard to stop. Oh, don't. No, no, no. Not again. <sighs> 694 oh. G-Force. And the thing is, you actually you gain experience points in Bone Collector <laughs> for crashing or maybe sometimes avoiding some crashes. But, like, basically 100 G-Force is, is the limit. After over 100, you will die. So if you get 99 G-Force, you'll you get just, an achievement. Because you just barely survived. I mean, can we do that, like, What's, right now? Probably not. What's Facebook saying? Oh, um, I was going to say real quickly, Felix says... Where did Felix comment go? I believe it was greeting, greeting from Honduras. Oh, Honduras. Yeah. They have many game developers there. That was French. It, maybe it's French Honduras. <laughs> I love the French. My, my mom is French. My, my mom's stop, name is Stop, just stop. Stop. Okay. I have French friends. <laughs> we, we believe you. <laughs> no way. I see licking. That was like a laugh of oh. relief from her, followed by you brutally murdering her against the mountain. She likes the icy licking. Why? Why are you Why saying these you things? Because <laughs> it's right there. It was in the game. I'm not, it's not me. Uh. Okay, now skiing, not much of an extreme sport, but anyway, what was the person from Honduras saying? They just said hi. Oh, hey. And then you, like, uh, killed someone at them. Here we go. Even at them, it was just in general. This is how mm. skiing works, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. We made it, we're okay. This is, like, weirdly upsetting. It is. My nephew, when I was playing it, said, please play someone other than the Walsh girl because she just screams the whole Her time. Her screams are really upsetting. Mm -hmm, yeah. They are. Like, kudos to the voice actor because that, like, it's authentic. How do you know they weren't just torturing her? Throwing <laughs> someone down a mountain and just recording it. I'm still alive. I'm doing science and I'm still alive. 
This is not science. This is science, right? This is sweet no science. No scientific body would approve this. <laughs> Did you see that trick? It's not really a trick. There we go. <clears throat> oh. So the sweet science is boxing, damn it. <clears throat> um, wow, 44? your legs okay. are just done. 55? <clears throat> wow. Okay. Kyle says hello from Mount Everest. Hello from Mount Everest, Kyle. Do not jump. Is this how you get down from Mount Everest, like in real yeah. life? Is this what you do? There's well, a you lot have of... a Sherpa. You're on a Sherpa's back, generally. There's a lot of uh, discussion as to whether or not this game rules or sucks. For some reason, I mean, really, seriously though, the stream, this jumping is not working right. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, just so anyway, everyone knows, the jumping is generally much easier on, and I don't know if it's the controller. I mean, this is the Halo Xbox 360 controller we're using, so maybe that's it. Maybe it's just... Oh, it only works with Halo. Yeah. And every time that you jump in any other game while using that controller, you jump like eight to ten feet in the oh, air. Oh, oh God, wow. Jeez. Oh, oh, pain. Let me see if I can find one more thing to show everyone. How, what how are you on time? Oh, we're pretty good. You can, you can go. Okay, let me let me go to the map. And there's one more place. We must find the, the, the Terra Mountain thing or the mountain of evil people doing stuff. Uh, the Cursed Air Balloon. Peak of the Damned. Here oh we go. Oh, my God. So here's Peak of the Damned, and if I can remember where... It's right there. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Huh. Oh, nice. There we Wait. go. That's Wait, can you crash through them? Like, if hey, you it's hit the them, bunny slope. Break? Uh, let I me, get it. Let me, use, let me use my air helicopter ticket, and I will get here. Kelly coming through. Kelly coming through, everybody. She's a lot more confident than she was before. Well, rabbits will do that. These are the raving rabbits. We're cross promotional. I didn't jump through that. Oh my the god! Original go. minions. Oh god, you're not wrong. No, the minions are just the rabbits. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I wonder how the people who made the rabbits feel. If the rabbits, like, are they upset with themselves? That they are partially to blame for the minions? Yes. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? You do realize you're putting that into like the ears of like 2.9 thousand yeah. people's ears. They love rabbits. Everyone loves rabbits. That's why they're so mm. popular. I'm hugging my skis. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, that's an, a, a sticky X20 off the side of the Garva Flats. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah, that's that's something what it is. Here we go. The big jump that I won't screw up somehow. Well, yeah. <laughs> but why do you say I, things I am like starting that to before the doing them? Thing. What? I'm starting to believe your controller is broken, actually. There's something wrong. It's seriously... Because I get a lot of air. I mean, you can go to my Xbox One profile. My handle's Fahey with a 4 for the A. Hmm. And see, that worked. And I'm not getting that. In a regular, at a regular. Oh, you're day. reaching the limit of the map. Really? Okay, yeah. This is what happens when you. Re Aww. Can we just go to? The oh, it just immediately forces you to open the menu. Like yeah. you can't go to the end. Let's let's go to the peak of the damned, and uh, we'll end it up with a ride down the peak of the damned, a lovely ride down the uh, peak of the damned. I mean, based on kind of the way that the borders look, this does seem like some sort of, like disembodied mountain world where like there's nothing outside of those boundaries. There's like an infinite purgatory. She is really overjoyed about this. Oh, I'm gonna tear that place off. You are not kidding. She's gonna tear that place up. She's apparently Irish as well. That was really but bad. I'm sorry. But still more Irish than you are. Apologies to everyone from Ireland. Should have. But not to the dick game developer. Developers. <laughs> so we find a good angle. Here's a good angle. This looks like a fine angle. Let's not ski because we want to go forwards. And this, wow. Well. Oh my goodness. She's fine. Did she let, it sounded like she started singing for a moment. She started doing Tarzan. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be fun. Oh, no, she's fine, she's fine. Oh, no, she's not fine. Huh? So now we can this go. The stream has basically been that like scene from The Simpsons where Homer falls down the <laughs> cliff when he tries to jump the skateboard. So, that is my Homer impression. 
It was really good. Yeah. Uh, was yeah. it was it French? Uh, it was French. Le don. <laughs> See now now that's stereotypical French stuff. They don't say la in front of everything. I've taught you guys how to be tolerant of the French. Now if I hit Y, once again I'm at the back. And we can go to the uh, let's do one last wing suit. Maybe ride. the reason that you hit Y to teleport back is because that's the question your character is asking Why are you when doing you force that? them to go back to the top of a mountain. They just fell down. Like she really freaks out in the wingsuit. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. I mean, I just have to say, like, these would be my reactions to everything if I was in this position. Like, I would be screaming the entire time. I'm not doing that again. Oh, here yeah. you are. You don't tell me what you're going to do. <laughs> this is so sad. She's like, please, no more. And you're like, you don't get to make decisions. Yeah, it's not your, it's not your choice anymore. I am gamer. You are tiny screen peon. Were her last words. <laughs> <laughs> We're just being cruel to the character now. But you got to be cruel to be kind. Uh, mm. In the right man, come on, you guys know? None of my song references are landing in this room filled with. Yeah, they really aren't. With 20 year olds and classical composers. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to tell everyone that that's what I... I'm a classical composer, but for some reason I decided to write about video games instead of making money. Oh no, Crozet! I will save you, Crozet! I'm coming for you, Crozet! You... you are my life, Crozet. That was nice. Mm -hmm. A 360 truck driver is apparently what that was called. Well, I thought that was when you go to a truck stop and you get the... Uh, no, 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 we're not going there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, and it's just this is safe, except for well, yeah. Now we bring up level three. Nice. Do you get like better antlers each time you level up? Is like the main measure of your power in this game. Hey, you're doing this on purpose. No, this one I was. I was see, well, let's, let's stop and walk. Now, what happens in the game is you can actually do mountain stories as you go on. Each mountain has its own story and its own special challenge. Are there audio show you diaries? Any of that. The mountain will talk to you. Uh, neat. Let's, here, let's just we'll, we'll end it with the, the audio from a mountain talking. That will be the end of the stream. After I drop her down this mountain one more time, she... Have you considered that you may have a problem? It, it seems to me that the reason we're doing things this way is not because it's of your volition. It's because you can't stop throwing someone down a mountain. No wonder my kids are always begging me to kill people in these games. Is this what fatherhood is? <clears throat> How did you survive that? Well, now she must die. I mean, that, okay. that sounds about right. You're like sitting here saying like, my kids tell me to kill. Joshua says, uh, when does the Yeti come out? When does oh it? man, Ski Free though. Still like the best mountain sport oh, game. Way yeah, better than this. That'd be good. Let's go to, well here, that's level 14. Like this Where's game gets like mountain? two ski frees out of 10. Is this Mont Blanc? Where's an unlocked mountain? Back to level 10. It should be Orals, or, or, or Lord of Lars. Orals, okay. <laughs> then level seven. Do I have any mountains unlocked right now? The map can be a little hard to, to, to navigate sometimes. So it won't let, actually let me do any of these as, as mountain stories. Hmm. Are there any mountain stories at all that have been unlocked? Miller and his crew are busy setting Let's up see here. In the mountain, so. No, this is just a chicken stunt, so... I guess I can't do a mountain story. Basically, the mountains will talk to you, and they'll say things like, I am the majestic mountain. I have lived here for thousands of years before you puny humans came and started snowboarding over me. I don't know if I believe you. Now I'll eat your faces. No, they do that, seriously. They, they each have their own voice, they each do their own thing, mm -hmm. and, and, and you have different challenges for each one. But this one's just a chicken stunt, so let's do this one chicken stunt and then we'll be done with the stream. Everyone on Facebook, remember, I love you. And not, not just in a, like a, a fake love way. No, in a very gratuitous and sexual way. No, I didn't, say, I didn't want to go there, no, I just was saying... I, I love them like, you know, like a sister loves a brother, in, but not in like... In Star Wars? In, in Star Wars, yes. We'll kiss a little, and I'd rescue you from a pit. 
That's beautiful. The stream is getting weird again. There's no truer love than what Faye just described. <laughs> thanks for watching, dude. But we just performed that <laughs> trick flawlessly. So thanks for watching, everybody. It's Friday. We might not stream again until at least next week. So until we get back from the jail, he we're about to go to for what we've done I'm, here today. I'm actually not touching the controller and riding. I'm snowboarding. And he's perfectly. way better than <laughs> he was before. <laughs> Look how good. This is sad. <laughs> Look at it go. It. I'm sorry. Look at her go. Oh my gosh. Farewell, snowboarder lady. I'm All a right. monster. I think that, that's a good place to cut off. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Farewell.